Hello everybody, it's Dan Gray here from Summerford Associates and today I'm going to be talking about Splunk Application Performance Monitoring which is one of the key components of Splunk Observability. So what does APM do? So it has complete distributed tracing and that will allow you to identify problems in microservices more effectively because it allows you to view every trace and it's seamlessly connected from backend services through to web and mobile applications. It has service mapping so Splunk APM will dynamically generate a service map which will provide your DevOps teams with out-of-the-box visibility into all service interactions, inferred services, dependencies and performance. And it also contains a Tag Spotlight feature which allows you to quickly correlate events with tag values which provides a central location to understand how traces behave across your entire system. So here we are now in our observability and we're in the APM tab and as we're greeted by the APM tab we can see here from our environment that we're currently looking at our Summerford front end environment and we see that we are in an APM overview page and that gives you exactly as it describes a very high level overview of your application. So we can see things like error rate by service, we can see business workflows by error rate helps you understand where your infrastructure fits within business workflows. We can see any latency issues and we can see a very high level overview here of a breakdown by service. So we can see we've got our ad service here, we've got latency and requests and errors. And as we scroll down we can see all the different services that make up this application. A great place just to, to have a quick look and see if there's any problems with any of the services. And I notice here that we have a large number of errors in our payment service. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a look at the service map and see where those are originating from. So we'll click here into the service map. And as I said in the slide on the slide that this service map is dynamically generated. So really what you get as you set up your observability cloud, install your OTAR collectors, this service map is dynamically generated by Splunk Observability and APM and you can very quickly get to a view of something like this that will help you understand how your application functions, which services are dependent on other ones and also as we can see here when something goes wrong it can help you find any errors. And speaking of errors, we can see there that our payment service is lit up bright red, <coughs> indicating that there are a number of errors with our payment service. So I'm going to go and investigate that a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is just click on the payment service. And as we hover over it and click it, we can see some information occurs. So this is what we saw again in the overview. But this time I'm going to actually take a look at it a bit closer and we can see here that there are a number of errors so 67% of the events that are going through this payment service are erroring but not only that we can see that Splunk APM has automatically discovered for us that this payment service is the root cause of these errors so it really can drive down your mean time to resolution by quickly identifying the root cause so as I said just to reiterate that APM has done that automatically for us, I haven't done anything. It has noticed through the service map and the traces that it's reading that the root cause of our problems are being generated by this payment service. So that's all well and good. We've identified that the payment service is the root cause of our problems, but what's actually going on? So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to click this button here to view the service and we'll get a much more detailed view of the payment service. And while we've zoomed into this service, we can see a number of panels on this dashboard have been populated. We can see that our availability is sitting at a remarkably low rate of 32%, which may violate some service level agreements or potentially impact our customer 
opinion of our service. So in this case our application is providing a front-end website so an availability of 32% within the payment service is not great for our customers. If I scroll through you can see more information about the service, you can see the number of requests, the error rate, And as we get down here into the infrastructure metrics, it can help you start to identify root causes. So we can see the, the amount of CPU. All these metrics are being pulled from our environment with our auto collectors. If these graphs here don't give us much of an indicator of what's going on, we can take a look at the tag spotlight. So as events are generated, by people browsing to our web front end and trying to buy stuff. Those events will contain tags and those tags will give us information about those customer journeys through our website and it might give us a bit of information about what's going on. So here we can see a number of information, a number of bits of information that have been provided by our tags. We can see which environment, we can see what kind we can see what workflows are being affected and we can see what operations are being generated. Now these tags will depend entirely on your environment, uh, more or less tags depending on how your environment has been set up. Again, we're not really drilling down into the root cause of our problems. So what we can do in APM is if we can have a quick look at the logs. And if you've used Splunk to interrogate logs before you move to Observability Cloud, this will look a little bit familiar to you, although slightly different because here in Observability we don't store any logs in the Observability Cloud. We bring them through from your cloud environment or your on-prem environment, which enables us to show your logs within the context that you want to view them. What I mean by that is that as I've clicked onto this Logs tab here, all the logs that are showing across the bottom of our screen are related to the payment service we were already looking at. Having had to do any SPL to bring those logs, observability has brought them to me in context. The logs related to the things I'm interested in. So what I'll do to investigate what's going on with our application and our payment service is I'll click into this log here that's erroring out and find out what's going on. As I click in we get the raw view of that log and we can see here that there's a severity of error but more importantly the message field we can see that the payments are failing through our, through our store due to an invalid API token. If the logs that have been brought back here in this tab hadn't been sufficient to identify what the problem was we could have clicked here to see, view more in Log Observer Connect. Uh, but if you want to learn more about Log Observer Connect, you'll have to join me for in our Log Observer Connect short video. So in summary, Splunk APM has enabled us to identify the problem in our application. We were able to see from a high level of overview that we have problems with latency in our application. The service mapping was able to show us very quickly that those problems were related to our payment service. And as we drilled down through, finally through to the logs, we were able, all within APM, to identify the problem, which will enable our teams to go out there and fix the problem with the API token. If you enjoyed that short video, we have a few resources here. We have some hands-on workshops. If you have any questions, feel free to email over at info at summerfordassociates.com. Check us out on LinkedIn if you want to find out about more workshops and webinars and what we're up to. And if you have missed a webinar and you'd like to to catch up. We also have a YouTube page which has Splunk webinars but also videos about our other partners. Thank you for watching this video today. It's been a real pleasure to bring Splunk APM to you. Thank you very much.